Hey everyone, welcome to Chuck's Guitar Geekery. Today I'm going over the Digitech Screaming Blues. Now this is in the ballpark of like a Boss Blue Scriber, but it's got a few tricks up its sleeve. First, it's out of production, but you can buy these used pretty cheap still. I got this shipped for less than 50 bucks. But before we go any further, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and then by the end of the video, let me know what you think in the comments below. So, using a Strat with kind of hot Texas style pickups in it. Going through an Orange Terror stamp, and then to an impulse response of an open back 1x12 mic with the SM57. First time to go through the sounds of this into a clean amp, then I'm going to gain the amp a little bit and use this as an overdrive, and then I'm going to go through the mixer out. That's right, this has both a regular out and a mixer out. It's almost like a little amp model on a pedal too. So, anyways, let's go through the sounds, and I'll come back at the end of the video and give you my two cents on it.
Now I'm going to switch to the mixer out. Now this is one of the special tricks of this pedal that I like, and really a bunch of the Digitech pedals from this era. Because we've all had those nightmare scenarios where you're at the gig, you don't have a backup amp, your amp blows. How are you going to finish the show? The promoter or bar owner is paying you to finish the show. you got to finish the show. Having a pedal on your board with cap sim on it what you can do is it's as simple as switching your jack from the amp out to the mixer out and then send this through a DI box to the front of house you can finish a show that's important is it the best sounding amp sim you'll hear let your ears be the judge but it'll get you through a gig because whether it's this or like the chorus factory or the distortion factory or any of these this era Digitech pedal has this feature on it, so that's why I usually try to have at least one of these on my board. Let's hear how the mixer out sounds.
Okay, there's the sounds. Now, it's been several years since I've owned a blues driver, so I've seen other videos comparing them, and tone-wise, they're pretty darn close. Um, you might be able to get a little more flexibility with the two-band EQ, but as far as the gain itself, see, it wasn't too noisy. You know, you heard some hum, but my room here is pretty noisy, so that's just part of the territory. But for that classic blue sound, this seems to do it. And then also, one of the tricks that some people that use the regular blues driver do is to keep the gain high, but then they roll their volume back. Just does something with the sound. You heard it at some point in there. Let your ears be the judge. I'm not here to try to sell you anything. Hell, they don't even make these anymore. I probably won't make any money off this video. But it was fun. So Also keep an eye out because since I have a DistroKid account, I'm going to start releasing the music from these videos. and put it on the free streaming services. In case you want to hear my sloppy noodling after the fact. So, anyways. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. And until next time. Cheers.